Hello and welcome to the 80 second tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the UI layout element. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with a UI extension which contains loads of UI elements enabling us to create great menus, hoods, etc. In this tutorial we will look at the UI layout element. The UI layout element allows us to create a layout that can contain other UI elements. A great example for this would be if you created a pop-up with various items such as the background which could be a UI image, a button which could be a UI button, a title which could be a UI label. You can manipulate the entire layout and all of its sub-elements uh, and will be affected such as moving it around so it simplifies code. So it's great to create layouts basically. The first thing you need to do before you can code any sort of UI element is include the extension module. To do that, open up your project. Then what you want to do is go to project.json, open that up, sublime text. And then here, we're just going to put quotation marks, extensions, save that now. And we've set up our project so it has extension module included. What I'm just going to do is just disable the Wi-Fi and the reason I'm doing that is so we don't get any notification disturbing us. So, now what we want to do is open up our app.js and in here, first of all, let's just comment at the sprite. Now let's create our layout. So var layout equals new ccui.layout layout.set layout type ccui dot layout dot linear underscore horizontal basically this is horizontal type of layout which you'll see in a moment now we're going to do layout dot size type equals ccui dot widget Dot size underscore percent now layout dot set size percent and then here on cc dot p 0 0.5 0 0.5 all of these will become apparent when you actually see it working and what it does layout dot set position type for this we're going to do cc ui dot widget dot position underscore percent now what we're going to do is layer dot set position percent and in here we're just going to do cc dot p 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Now, what we're going to do is layout.set background color type. And for this, I'm going to specify ccui.layout.bg underscore color underscore solid. Should be a 1 underscore there, not 2. Seems like I was saying so many underscores, it was typing them itself layout.set background color for this we're just going to do cc.color.gray and now what we're going to do is var text equals new ccui dot text now let's just set the text properties. This is what will be contained with that in our layout. So layer text.attr. We've covered the text, uh, I mean the CCUI text element before. Text align colon cc dot text underscore alignment underscore center string label ttf that's what it's going to say now it's going to do font arial put a semicolon here now it's going to create a button so bar button equal new ccui 
drop button. Let's load the text to the button. So button dot load textures. Res dot close normal. Res dot close normal. But I know we've got a variable called selected. It's generated by default. So we're going to be using that one. And now the next thing to do is layout dot add child text layout dot add child button this dot add child now we just need to add the layout now that is saved we are just going to minimize this open up terminal cd to our project directory run the cocos command Here we go, we have our layout. So this is the layout right here, as you can see. We have our items inside. We go to app.js. Um, what we're gonna do is layout.setscale to 0 0.3. If we go back to the web browser, what you'll see is pretty cool. As you see, it's scaled it, but it's scaled everything inside. So if we were to move it, we'll move it accordingly, which is great. So we don't have to keep track of the individual items inside and scale them as well. Here are some extra tasks for you to do. Explore the different layout types. Look into the different ways for setting the positioning and sizing of the layout. Look into setting position for the individual items. Check out the other color types. Add more elements and try and create some sort of realistic game layers, such as menus. Manipulate the layout using other methods learned throughout this series. To help with these tasks, you can look at the Cocos 2 djs API guide and the samples provided by Cocos 2 djs In the next tutorial, we will cover using the UI page view element. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.